Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you your weekend reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's coming towards you guys this weekend. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right, Scorpio, as you all know, these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does. Leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot, guys. Reverse the rules as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check the other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Universe, I think, just for your angel guys and guardians. What's coming towards my Scorpios this weekend? Ace of Swords. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Then you got the Four of Wands here, the eleven eleven card. Twin Flame Energy. This has to do with the relationship that you're currently in separation with. If you felt backstabbed in the past by this person... That's done. This person's coming in to try to recover something, to obtain some forgiveness. They want to move on from the turmoil, and they want an opportunity at a new start here with you. This person is no longer confused with the two of swords in the reverse. They know what they want. They definitely know what they want here. With the six of pentacles, this person wants an equal give and take. They want a reconciliation. <coughs> Excuse me. This person is coming in here to speak the truth. Somebody that you were in a higher level commitment, someone that you shared a home with is coming towards you. Someone that you wanted to share a home with is coming towards you. Someone that you felt that backstabbed you in the past is coming towards you. They want to equal give and take here. They want to balance something out. They know what they want. They're no longer indecisive with the two of swords in the reverse. Someone that you are currently in separation with wants reconciliation, guys. This person is sad, is depressed without you. They want to heal this connection because they want to get back to this higher level commitment. This person sees you as the Nine of Pentacles here. You're independent. You're sexy. You're vibrant. You know what you want. You know where you want to get to. And this person wants to be with you. I feel that this person is also looking at you like turning your back to them. Because you're not trying to deal with the nonsense anymore. And as we say that seven of swords, you're not trying to deal with the nonsense anymore. You're not trying to deal with deception. You're tired of it. With the high priestess in the reverse, I feel that you are not going to trust what this person says. This person has lied so much to you that it's going to be hard for you to trust what they're telling you. But I honestly feel that this person is coming in here with truth now. With the Ace of Swords, they want to reveal something to you. With the Four of Swords, you may have not been communicating with this person for a while now. But they want to break that communication barrier. They want to heal this connection. They want to recover this connection. Six of Cups, Memories and Reunion. I'm telling you, somebody wants to come in here and they want a reconciliation with you. This is somebody from your past. A soulmate energy, a twin flame energy. This person's coming back in. They want their pre empress back. What else in this? King of Pentacles. This person's coming in with a stable offer. But Eight of Swords here. You still feel that this person's going to keep you mentally trapped. Or this may be this person's energy. They're mentally trapped without you. They feel like there is no victory here. Okay? And they want victory. They want recognition. They want recovery in this connection. They're coming in here as this Queen of Swords. They're speaking of truth, guys. But with the King of Cups here, you feel like this person is still going to be playing these emotional manipulative games that they were playing in the past. But they're not coming in here like that petty person that they left. They're coming in here as an emperor. They're coming in here to give you love. They're coming in here with truth. With truth and justice. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, Scorpio, is coming in here to reveal the truth. And I feel that they're going to tell you that they're still in love with you and they want an opportunity to fix this. I feel that this person has been <clears throat> lying to themselves that they didn't love you anymore, but they have come to a realization. Eight of Wands, forward movement, a lot of communication here. 
a lot of communication. The moon, didn't I tell you this person wants to come in here and disclose something? There's something this person wants to tell you, Knight of Cups. This person's coming in here to profess their love. They're coming in here to tell you that they are madly crazy in love with you, that they've been lying to themselves this whole time, and they're ready to speak their truth. They're ready to tell you that they, they're in love with you, and they want a future with you. They want a stable new beginning with you. Look, I keep on seeing this magician in the reverse. You feel like this person is still lying, that this, pers this person is still up to no good. Or this just may be this person's energy right now that they feel lost, they feel incomplete, they feel scattered minded without you. And they're coming back towards their soulmate. They want to recover this connection. There's a lot of wish fulfillment getting ready to happen in this connection. Satisfaction and wish fulfillment. You and this person are going to get ready to start granting each other's wishes. But Scorpio, I think that you're still not going to trust what this person says. It's going to take you a while for you to trust them. This person is lonely without you. They miss you. This person thinks about you all the time. And this is you with the death. You feel like this person has not changed. But I honestly, I feel that they have. They want to bring this connection in from out of the cold. This person is coming towards you. This person is coming towards you. They want to head into calmer waters with you. This person wants the opportunity of rebuilding this connection. They want to recover this connection with you. They have finally realized that they're madly in love with you and they want to come back home, is what I just heard. What is the overall message here for Scorpio Universe? Overall message? Reach out. Contact, touch, communicate. Reach out with a gentle touch or a sweet message. This is your person. They're going to reach out. You guys are currently in separation, but you will be coming together and there is wedding bells. Wow. All right, guys. Look, it coming apart just flew out in the reverse. You guys are coming out of a separation. You're definitely coming out of some separation this weekend. But for some of you guys, you may not trust it. Trust your intuition, okay? Because I honestly feel that this person is coming in here legit. They're coming in with the truth, and they honestly want to recover the situation with you. Alrighty, Scorpio, I hope this reading gave you some clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. If you guys want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.